All right, I'm in to get my first fox of the year. I gotta hurry up because uh, some of the guys are still deer hunting in here, so the landowner called me to come in and get it. We'll get it taken care of. All right, guys, here he is. First red fox of the year. Okay, I'm back where I caught that fox this morning. This is a flat set. Well, of course, now there's a catch circle here. You can see the catch circle where the fox was, but I repaired it as best I could, put in, reset it. And this is a lot of, it's tough to see in the dark, but this is a lot of eye appeal here. Looking for coyotes here. Landowner wants me to come in and uh, catch coyotes, but they're not here all the time. They're running through the property. Hopefully this flat set will work. Took a nice red fox this morning, first one in the season. Real pleased with that. I came out to check my traps in the pouring rain and I catch the most prized animal in the trapping world. Here he is. The possum. I haven't actually caught one in quite a while. He's a real nice one though. Oh, look at him grinning at me. All right, let's let the possum go. No wait. No wait. There he goes, none the worse for wear. All right, let's me remake this set. Didn't tear it up too bad. Well, back out on another rainy night. This is, a, I think, my fifth set day. I set the, all these traps on Saturday. I had a, a, a dirt hole set behind me on the ground here where I, the trap was flipped over. It wasn't set off. Like a coon had, you know, touched it with his feet and flipped it over. So the day after I found that, I put a coon cuff on the opposite side of the trail here. And there he is, Mr. Coon. Made a hell of a catch circle here, it's all muddied up. You can see I caught him in the coon cuff there, but he's really muddy. All right, nice catch. All right, going in to check my traps again. I think I have another red fox here. Seeing something from the road. I don't see any deer, so I'm gonna go in and get it. Same side, I cut that possum in. Well, last check for this week, a little disappointment. I had another fox in this flat set that I caught the first fox this weekend, but all that was in there was a toenail. So what I did was I doubled up the traps and I put another trap in there. So if I barely hit him with the first one, he might hit the second one. I also left the trail, I left a gap right here where the other trap is. So if he trails in this way, he'll step in the trap. And then my other trap is in here. But this whole spot now smells like fox, so. Might come back. <laughs> Maybe it scared him and he won't, he won't come back, but we'll see. I think they might be running this clover edge here. There's a wood edge along here. Then there's a edge of clover running right here. 
and then there's a, ro a, a roadway here to the other field. I, the, the other fox that I caught would be right here under the pine tree. So this little crossway here seems to be pretty hot. I will give it a try and see what happens. Reset it. Didn't put any lure in it. See what goes on. Now this is my second check on this. We got a nice big boar coming kind of here. Wow, look at the wreckage. This is a nice one. Big one. Got him in the dog proof there. He ripped this place apart. All right, let's get him taken care of and get him out of here. Hey, what are you doing in there? Come on. Hey. Yeah, you're not asleep now, are you? What are you doing? Now they have my trap all stunk up. <laughs> Alright, time to let the possum go.